So what's selling well on eBay now? We haven't listed much this month, but all of this sold. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. And welcome to a brand new video. We're Global Thrifters. My name's Jack. And I'm Emily. Together, we're a full-time reseller couple here in the UK. So in today's video, we're going to be doing our monthly sales review. Yes. I can't believe another month's passed. <laughs> yeah, it feels like <laughs> yesterday we were already doing this video for last month, but we'll go through a few of our favourite sales from the month past. So we hope you guys are well and we hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please smash a huge thumbs up. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button down below and hit the bell as well. You'll be notified for any new content we bring out. And without further ado, let's get thrifty. Right, so first up. This only sold yesterday, but we wanted to mention it first. <laughs> <laughs> you might have seen us say it once, twice on the Thursday Thrifter Talks, but it's the Genie Cookie Jar. Yeah, so this was from Aladdin, and we've had it quite a long time, yep. but I think Peter at the Vinegar Jar noticed <laughs> a little, not error on our behalf, but something to do with the eBay algorithm yep. slash keywords. <laughs> so basically we listed this as cookie biscuit jar, mm -hmm. and it didn't actually come up in people's searches. We then recently changed it to biscuit cookie jar, and it sold. <laughs> yeah, it's mad. We paid 7 50 a few months back now, but we got £25, and it's out the door. Then another Aladdin, but it's not the Disney version. We <laughs> sold this paraffin lamp. Oh, it's a lamp though. The genie yeah, lamp. It's true. <laughs> and we paid four pounds for this lamp not that long ago. No, it was in our last Jumble Trail haul that we showed you. So a couple yeah. of weeks ago now. Yeah, we paid four pounds, as I said, and yeah, got the full asking price. Fifty pounds. <laughs> <Jeez. laughs> oh dear. I think it's a Chinese name, but I think mm -hmm. it's being posted to one of the places where it then gets sent out to the country. Yeah. It's like a sorting hub or something. But it didn't go international or such, but I think it is. It's it's a collectible English thing. So yeah, four into 50, very, very happy. The next up is a board game that I think everyone looks out for. Yeah. And if you don't, you definitely should. We paid five pound for it and it unfortunately yeah. wasn't complete. But, but we did mention that in the description. Yes, of course. <laughs> and we sold it 79.95. Now complete, they're going for at least 100, yeah. maybe 150 in depending on condition, but at 80 pounds from five pound, incomplete, very happy. Next up, we've got a pair of trainers. Now these are the Adidas Tubular, Tubular? <laughs> Shadow Knit trainers. So we picked these up from the charity shop. We paid two or three pound for them. Had them, I'd say a month. Yeah, not too long, not too and long. And we sold them for 25 pound plus postage. Yes, we try and pick up trainers when we can. You usually don't pay over £5 mm -hmm. for a pair unless there's something special. And two or £3 into mm -hmm. 25 we'll pick them up all day. So we said this before, but just a little tip for quickly researching trainers. In Adidas shoes, there's an art number. So the number after the word art. Um, you can type that into Google and it will tell you the name of the shoe. Easy research. Yeah. Before we knew this, we spent a long time yeah. black white stripes, yeah. you know, checkered, whatever, and trying to work out what the name of the shoe was. So we got that tip, we're gonna pass that tip on to you guys and hopefully do a bit easier research. You might have seen, we recently had quite a large death pile of electronics. Mm -hmm. Now I say recently had, we still have it, but we took a few of them off. Yeah, lighten the load. <laughs> so we recently picked up this Panasonic DMR EZ47V. Yes, video, DVD, recorder. We paid between 10 and 20. Might have been 10 actually, but mm -hmm. we sold it for 159.95. So yeah, there's always good profit margins in VHR DVD combos. VHR? VHS. VHS. <laughs> but people think if they don't work, then they're just scrap. There's always money to be made. Yeah. Well, if you don't pay too much yeah. to be made in yeah. broken electronics. Definitely. At £10, if it didn't work, mm -hmm. we probably still would have got 40 or 50 for it, which is crazy. Yeah, but and to pay 10 to £20, that's still okay. <laughs> all day long, all day long. But yeah, they, they are quite big. They take up a lot of room. And because they stack, you may find yourself building a stack. death pile. <laughs> <laughs> so you may have seen on our Instagram that there was a box bigger than Jack. <laughs> nah, it wasn't, but it was almost. It was a big box. <laughs> And this was what it was inside. Yes. So it's an antique, or definitely vintage, hand handmade wooden ponjot. Now it's definitely the biggest model boat, RC boat mm -hmm. sort of thing we've had. I think the boat shell itself wasn't as long, but the mast was very yes. tall. <laughs> yeah, that was a good foot or two longer. So we paid £35 for this boat. And as you can see, we sold it for £100. Mm -hmm. Now I'm happy with that profit margin. 
there was quite a bit of packaging work to do. You love a packaging job. We, yeah, but as long as we, maybe <laughs> one, one a week, <laughs> one every couple of weeks, maybe, you know, not too many. But yeah, it, it pays off. The profit's fine and we'll keep picking them up. But you guys know that we don't show away from big items, so... Yeah, yeah, if there's money to be made, we'll have a go. So sticking with that larger item theme... Did you box this one? No, I think it was me when I opened it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we picked up this Lorenzo cord organ. Now this stuck around for a little while. Yeah, we had it a while. We picked it up from the car boot post-lockdown, but quite early Yeah, a couple of months ago. A couple of months. And we paid 25 we paid £25 for it, and as you can see, we sold it for £82. Yes. Now, we did have this up for 100 and when the offer came through, before we even saw the amount, Jack said, if it's over 50 we'll take yeah, it. Yeah, it was time to move it on. <laughs> At 82 there was £18 postage, so it, it rounds it off. They're happy, we're happy. In and out, sold. So the next item is a bit of a bolo. Yeah. So we picked this up from the car boot with a bundle of board games and vintage toys and we paid... Five pounds. <laughs> so within the bundle, I think there was a paraffin heater that we may have got 24, some Harry Potter books, which are definitely worth more than a couple mm -hmm. of pound each. So it left us with this. So this is the Kasdan Dolls Hospital. Now it's sort of the same scale as Cindy's Barbies. Yep. Would have gone... Yeah, it's yeah, to scale, it, it's to go with you. It doesn't come with any dolls, mm -hmm. but it's for that. As you can see, it's a hospital, nurse, doctors, that sort of thing. <laughs> and as you can see, we got 59.95, Which is crazy. Awesome. We didn't really expect that looking at it. We thought maybe at least £20. Yep. So to get £60 for it, wow, we're yep. over the moon. It's full asking price, it's sold. And it went abroad. And it went international. So that is really cool. And it was missing a couple of bits. Again, we mentioned it was missing mm -hmm. the bits, but there was still plenty there to hold yeah. enough value. I think, like we said before, if you are transparent and open and yep. honest with your descriptions. Yeah, always going to do well. The next up is another vintage toy. And this is a Meccano multi-kit set. Mm -hmm. So this is the crane one and we paid five pounds for this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it went full price for 39.95. Five <laughs> into 40. We'll pick them up all day mm -hmm. long. There's so many little parts to this set. Mm -hmm. Again, we didn't guarantee it was complete. We just explained what was there. We showed the photos yeah. of what was there. People could see what they were buying. But it's not, I'm not going to sit there and count <laughs> every nut and bolt. But there was plenty there for the buyer to be satisfied. So we're on the £5 train here. We picked up these Sidi Vertigo Lay motorbike shoes. Yes. Now, or boots. These are in a women's size. And we paid £5. Yes. And as you can see, we sold them for 75. Yeah, it's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I think when you look at motorbike stuff, you can sometimes tell the quality just by looking mm -hmm. at it. They were in really good condition. Mm -hmm. They weren't flimsy. As Em said, they, yeah. they were good quality, good condition. The lady was asking five pound. We've paid the price. Mm -hmm. I think we listed them maybe for a hundred, but hey, 75 from five. This is some yeah. good profit margins. We you are can't very be too happy. greedy. You sometimes you've just got to... Definitely, definitely. The buyer thinks they're getting a bargain. You know, yeah. maybe they were expecting to pay 100. They've only paid 75. That buyer's happy. We're happy. And hopefully Everyone's they'll come happy. back. Yes, exactly. <laughs> we pick up a lot of motorbike gear. Sometimes you pay 20, maybe only sell it for 30 or 40. But sometimes you pay five and you get 75. All the gear. But no idea. Okay, so next up is another boat, model boat. You like your boats? Yeah, I do. I don't know what accent that was. <laughs> um, this one sat around for a while, but we were asking a high price. We were asking a hundred. Mm -hmm. It came in a bundle of stuff that we paid 15. It was with the RC yes. jet ski yes, that was. we sold yeah, yeah. in our last sales video. <laughs> and that's already, you would have seen that would have already made us profit. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of other bits in that bundle that's already, already made it profit. So to sell this boat for 70 pounds is pure profit. And it was a large item. Mm -hmm. It took up a lot of shelf space. Happy to move it on. It wasn't even a heavy duty wood mm. or heavy plastic. It was quite a thin plastic. So I'm surprised it even got that much money. But yeah, like we said before, we don't shy away from big items, but you do need to turn them around quicker. Yes. You don't want them sat around too long. You want them in and out. Shake it out a bit. <laughs> money to be made. <laughs> Oh, there's always more to buy. I promise we do pay more than £5 for our items. <laughs> it's just this month, that's just the way yeah. it's been. And I'm not going to turn down a bargain. No. Next item is a Tiffany style banker's lamp. Yes. And this had a nice dragonfly design on. It was very pretty. It was, it was really very cool. well made. It was, yeah. We have picked up banker's lamps before. Mm -hmm. Sort of the brass ones, the green shade. Yeah. And they do sell. 
And Tiffany lights, you would have known. We have sold quite a few of them. But so never we can buy them together. <laughs> <laughs> never the pair. So we paid five. And sold it for seventy. Yes, again, <laughs> five into seventy. Some big profit margins mm -hmm. there. So in an ideal world, we ten times our money. We pay a power and sell it for ten. Pay ten, get a hundred. Five into fifty. Mm -hmm. So five into seventy. We're doing really well and obviously we don't always have these sales no. these are just our top sale videos so if you would like to see any weekly sales videos just little updates yep. then let us know because we'd love to definitely yeah. it's yeah. the bread and butter sales you pay a couple of pounds and get 10 or even five and then it wasn't a great buy you flipped it for 10 but you've got your money back the stock's out the door and you're reinvesting so sticking with lighting we sold a large copper or Copper and brass. <laughs> We're not sure. I'm, I thought it was copper or bra whatever. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we anyway. sold this large lamp. So we paid 15 for this large Moroccan lamp and as well as four or sconces. six. Four sconces. Four yeah. sconces. The same design, just half go against the wall. However, what have we done for them? Keeping them. We've kept, uh, we've kept them for now. <laughs> So they're in the attic with the rest of the stuff for that house that we are almost there, we'll let you know. So yeah, we paid £15 for all five items and we sold this large lamp for 60 Yes, now this was a packaging job and a half. Mm -hmm. This really did, because it's such a thin item, mm -hmm. but a large item, easily could dent, easily could squish. So I had to really make sure it was safe. So we packaged it. We? we? So Jack packaged it and <laughs> I put all the dimensions into Parcel to Go and it was coming up crazy money mm. to ship it, like £60. Yeah. And we only charged them £18 mm. to post it. And we couldn't afford that. That's a £40 loss before commission from eBay. Yeah. Yeah, we can't do that. No. We can't do that. And so we repackaged it and we got the dimensions down. I think we only had to lose eight centimetres yeah, or even, all over. Yeah, the box didn't look that mm. much different afterwards, but just taking it maybe from... 65 down to 59 centimeters so you're below that on that length the, the price went from 60 pound to 16 to 16 which is mad it's mad but hey it went out the door fingers crossed it arrived safely but we'll keep you updated so next up was a charity shop find now we don't really go into charity shops much well especially during the summer seasons anyway mm. but now obviously it's coming up to winter we might have to start looking at those yes, options. and where we found this one has been quite good for us. Yeah. It's been a little, little, uh, what's Treasure trove. Treasure trove. <laughs> Treasure trove. <laughs> yeah, it's been good anyway. So we've been in there a couple of times, usually on a Wednesday, and we have found some good bits. This item we paid £10, as you can see. It went out the door for fifty nine ninety five. It wasn't new, but it's still in its mm -hmm. box. And it was in pretty good condition. Really good condition. So next up is a board game that M found. So we paid one pound for this Bewitched board game. Now it was made in 1988, and yeah, you can sort of tell from the artwork that it just looked fun. Yeah, it looked interesting, it looked cool. We didn't expect it to be worth as much as it is though. We paid one pound and it was complete. So mm. we got it home and all the pieces were in separate little bags. Yeah. We counted them all, they were complete. Yeah. In really nice condition. Yeah. The lady said it was complete at the car boot and I didn't even check it for a pound. I was happy to take yeah. a gamble. And we sold it for £34.95. Yeah. So we had this up for 40 We could have probably held out for a little bit more, but £1 into £35. Yeah, very happy. Sold within a couple of days. So we picked up this rise and fall ceiling light after doing really well on a previous one. However, until we got it home, I didn't realise it was missing the large weight mm -hmm. that basically makes it rise and fall. Easily done out in the field. You don't notice these things. Was it a long way? That's a tin of tartan paint. <laughs> so I paid twenty pound from a dealer. He wouldn't move on it, but we did sell it for fifty-five. However, if it did have the weight, I think we would have got closer to a hundred. Next up, something that we don't usually dabble in <laughs> was some inks. Now this was at HP, I think, for the three three nine and the three four four. So these were actually dated October, November 2013, but who knew there was a market for out-of-date ink? Yeah, I think people do pick this up. I've seen resellers sell them before and we have sold them a while ago, but it's not something we go out and look for. Yeah. However, we had a gamble at £4 for four inks. We put it on at a £20 auction and it went for £51.27, wow. which is awesome. That's really, really good. So we put it up for 20 and we had a few offers of... 25, 13, mm -hmm. we thought, let's just see where it goes. Yeah, yeah. I, I enjoy an auction. I like to see what they end up at. And we always say, 
The starting bid is mm -hmm. the bid that you're happy to receive. If it finishes on just that starting bid, we're still happy. Mm -hmm. Any more is a bonus. So next up, we've got some Star Wars. Now this is the Play School Galactic Heroes. So it's a bit of a bundle. We've sold it all together in one job lot. We may have been able to separate it and get a bit more, but we're happy to just move on as one mixed job lot for £40. We paid £10 for the lot plus the next item. Which is these lightsabers. Now these are the Disney Parks build your own lightsabers. So we had a blue and a green one. Obviously they're mix and match so they're not necessarily any specific character. Yeah. And we sold these for just under £40 for the pair. So yeah we paid £10 for all of this Star Wars lot and we sold it for just under £80. Yeah. Very, very happy with that. May the force. <laughs> oh, God. So we always pick up Lego, especially for the right price. We picked up this Fabuland 3681 set. Wasn't complete. No, but we only paid a fiver. It's boxed and there's a, enough inside mm -hmm. to get people interested. We put it on a £20 auction and it finished at... 41 Yes. Very happy with that. Probably could have held up for more on a buy it now. If it was complete, would have got for a lot more. But hey... Five into 41 pounds, I'm very happy. So we showed a haul from a jumble sale trail over in Chichester on Instagram. And one of these items was a Whitner metronome. <laughs> I think I've said that right. <laughs> now this is a thing that counts, that keeps you in time, I think, for music playing. And yeah, we paid three pounds. I saw on the bottom it said made in Germany. It looked interesting. Mm -hmm. I felt it was worth more than three pounds. Yeah. We sold it for 29 95 and it didn't hang around long. Next up, we've got an oil can. So we picked up three of these for £10 and we have already sold one for... 24 95 So yeah, we always like anything to do with yeah, I think a lot mobilia. Of, yeah, and... exactly, exactly. And it's a really popular thing. A lot of people pick it up, a lot of people buy it. Anything automobilia, garage, oil, petrol, mm -hmm. that sort of stuff. The signs are the ones you want to be picking up. Yeah. The enamel signs, lovely. But oil cans can do really well. As I said... We've already sold this one, and the others should be all gravy from here on out. So something that stuck around for a while and stuck to the wall. <laughs> yes. It's finally sold. It is the Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Devastator. And something that we only paid 50 pence mm. for. Sold for £22. Yes. So it's a great profit margin. However, we did have to wait a few months for it to sell. Another trainer sale, we picked up these Donkey Kong Nintendo fans. Yep. Now, we paid £2 for these at the car boot, and originally we did list them for 40 but it took a little while, so we kept lowering and lowering the price. Someone offered £25, and we took it. Yeah, I mean, it would have been nice to get 30 or 40 out of them, but 2 into 25 I'm happy to pass them on. I don't think we would have got that price for a standard pair of vans, mm -hmm. because they were the limited edition, yep. different design, they fetch the higher price. Yeah, I think it's the same with Converse as well. Some of the standard ones don't go for as much mm. unless they're new or in very good condition, but some of the limited edition ones yeah. do so well. So Definitely worth looking out for. Hashtag mug life. So we picked up this Shrek mug from the car boot sale and we paid... One pound for a proper ugly mug. <laughs> so this is the Universal Studios Singapore. Yes. version of the mug and it still had the original sticker yeah i think it was 20 nice. singapore dollars so i don't know what that translates to <laughs> but we sold it for 20 pounds. 20 pounds it was quite well made yeah it was good it didn't look like i don't know you might have seen it in primark they sort yeah. of do sort of character mugs or just anywhere in a card shop card factory that sort of thing the, yeah. the detailing was yeah this one was really good an unusual vintage toy sale i wasn't going to pick it up but I was bundling a few toys together that all seemed to be the same sort of era. Felt it may have some value. I think we paid £10 for a bundle of toys mm -hmm. and included was this Tommyville train. Tunyville. So as you can see, it sold for £30. It was in its box. It had all the discs mm -hmm. to make the music and it was in good condition. So hopefully it's gone to a collector, but we're very happy with that price. So what we're going to finish on is our Polly Pocket. Now this is a little update of what has sold from the bundle we got. Yes. So we paid £11 for a, a bag full of mm -hmm. Polly Pockets and they were just the compacts only. We valued them at possibly 150 to 200 And so far we've sold £117 worth. So that's before commission, £100 profit and there's still a few more to sell. Really happy with our profit margin. Always worth looking out for your vintage Polly Pockets or Mighty Max. They're only small but they can really hold some value. That was our top sales from September. Hopefully you enjoyed 
going through them with us. Yeah, and seeing what we paid, what we sold it for, and yeah, just a little bit of why we bought it. Definitely. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And this Thursday, we are joined for our Thursday Thrifter Talks by Richard at The Night's Life. So yeah. it will be great to have you guys come hang out with us, ask us any questions. Mm -hmm. And also, Richard sells a lot of film props. So yeah, yeah, it'll be a really interesting chat. Really, really looking forward to it this week. Yeah, we'll see you Thursday at 8. And other than that, we'll see you soon for a brand new video. Take care, guys.